What is up YouTube, Marty here, coming at you guys today with a little how-to video. Um, going to be working on my 94 and a half, 7.3 liter power stroke. Um, I'm emphasizing the 94 and a half because I'm pretty sure the 94 and a half is different from the rest of them. Basically from 95 until 97, at least in the OBS uh, body style. Um, I can point out where exact where the exact differences um, are, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, anyway, today I'm going to be replacing the lift pump up in between the valley. Um, pretty much almost ever since I got the truck, which is about a year and a half ago, I've been fighting a fuel fuel leak problem. It uh, I thought it was the bowl. I replaced the bowl. That didn't help seemingly got worse um i've replaced the uh, little fuel lines that go to and from the bowl to the pump you know multiple times still nothing and then finally not even a month ago um i was letting the truck idle and i'm getting up in there because like the driveway you can see it down there is just soaked so I'm looking, I'm like, God, I gotta find this damn leak. Where is it coming from? So I'm looking extra hard, looking everywhere, and it's the pump. You can literally, there's a little, there's like a little bleed hole out the side, and each stroke, it's just squirting right out the damn thing. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. So, um, yeah, I gotta do it. I just spent about 200 bucks in parts. Um, I love working at Ford because you get OE parts, and it's so much cheaper, and it's nice. Uh, so I got a box full of parts right down there where that blue thing is So yeah, I'll uh, show you guys what's up All right guys, so I've already kind of got started just because I wanted to make sure I was actually gonna be able to do this before I just start monkeying around with video um, Yeah, so The main difference the main problem that I'm seeing with a 94 and a half Versus say a 95, 96, 97 is that damn turbo pedestal right there is in the way of that big banjo bolt right there. So I've watched plenty of YouTube videos where dudes are just literally taking a wrench right down there and whoop, no problem. You can't do that with this one. So that big bolt, that banjo bolt down there is inch and a quarter. Um... What I did was I took off this little engine bracket. It's one of these guys. It's when you, you know, if you're gonna pull the engine, you'd hook onto that with your chains. Um, the <clears throat> the bolt was a 15 mil thing just come right off. But that is then out of the way, so then you can get your, I just took this guy here, big old socket, put it in the bottom, and then, uh, put my breaker bar on it honestly it's a pretty big pain in the ass to try to get it broke loose because you don't have but this much room and by that point I mean you're moving like pfft, nothing down there the leverage is just awful so it sucks but do what you can make it work it's tighter than hell so yeah um, now it's loose but like I say, I just pretty much wanted to make sure I'd actually be able to get it loose before I tore everything off. Because this is my daily driver. So I, if nothing else, I just button that back up and keep sending it. And let all the fuel piss out everywhere. Like you can see it in the valley down there. Oh, where was the zoom? See it? Puddle. It's all wet way over there. Even under the bowl. Yeah, look at all that fuel. So, um, pretty much now, I'll, uh, since I know it's actually going to work, I'll start tearing it down and take you along with me. Alright guys, so pretty much what I'm going to start off by doing is uh, getting this Y pipe removed. Pretty much just a series of band clamps. You got a couple on this side, a couple on that side. Then the one up to the turbo. Uh, those guys are all 5 16 unless you've replaced them with something else. Um, so I got the Y pipe off there. Uh, 
good idea to take and stuff some sort of rag. I just got paper towels, that's all I had. Um, stuff it in the turbo. And then your two inlets here and here. Just so nothing falls down there by accident, whether it be dirt or tool or something. Um, yeah, so next, pretty much gonna work on getting these clamps off here. <clears throat> Since I am replacing the pump and I got to take those hoses off anyway, I just bought uh, Factory fuel lines. I will put all the part numbers below as well Because um, there's gonna be a bunch of Probably about ten different parts. I got I suppose so I'll make sure to put all the part numbers and everything down below So you guys know if you do want the factory Ford stuff But yeah, so next we'll work on the, getting these hoses removed honestly I'm probably just gonna cut the hoses and then I'll work on removing the clamps as well I got them top two hoses off now I'm ready to start loosening up the pump I don't intend to uh, do anything with the fuel bowl I don't know if I'll have to I'll cross that bridge when it comes but for now got 10 mil socket there's one on this side and then there's one right on the other side I'm going to loosen those up and then I'm going to finish loosening that bolt right down there, the banjo bolt. Alright guys, the end verdict was <laughs> this little dinky uh, quarter inch ratchet extended up to half extended up to or sorry extended up to three eighths and then up to half good grief and then uh, oh my god oh wow yeah that is pretty awful i wish i could have got another one of these to be honest but I'll clean it up, see what we can do. Oh, it's so dirty. Oh. Alright guys, we got the banjo bolt out. In theory, this should be separate now. Um, I still gotta get that bottom one removed. I got that hose clamp down there loose. I'm just gonna chop the uh, hose in half since I got the replacement. And then it should be ready to come out. All right guys, so you can't really see, I don't think, but the bottom one is cut. Should be pretty much ready. Now this can go one of two ways. Very well or very bad. Um, let's all just hope for very well. Uh, basically, what you gotta pay attention now for with this taking the pump out is there is literally there's a hole in the top or in the bottom or whatever you want to call it there's a hole in the top of the block and the pump seats down in there now the pump can break off right in that hole and then you got a whole section that's stuck in there if that doesn't happen what will happen is in that hole the pump where it goes down in there it's got that plunger that plunger could fall off as you're pulling it out Please, Lord, do not let any of that happen to any of us. Because that would not be fun. So, anyway, um, I'm going to try and get that hose fully detached just because I don't want any hiccups. I think it's still kind of hanging on. And then pretty much just slowly work the pump out from there. She's loose. All right, guys. This is where you gotta be very careful pulling it straight up so that plunger don't fall out. Okay, 
I'm just gonna show you guys. You can see, come on, focus. Okay. Come on. So you can see it's pulled apart quite a bit. I'll keep going. is the scariest thing I think I've ever done. Please, Lord. Oh, my gosh. I'm literally so scared. I don't even want to take this thing out. It's in one piece. It is in one piece. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Alright guys. I'm still pretty ecstatic about getting that ding thing out. Uh, pretty much next step now is to take all that dirt you see and dump it down in that hole. I'm just kidding, dump. <laughs> uh, this part is actually very crucial because seeing as how you got the pump out, clears the way, um, it's a very good idea to cl clean it. I mean, I'm going to. Um, so pretty much just be extremely careful in trying to uh, clean all that dirt and whatever else is down there out. I'm going to do the best I can to shove another like towel down in there. Um, do it at your own risk. I ain't liable for this shit. Alright guys, so I'm going to do a little side-by-side -side comparison of the old pump versus the new. Uh, pretty much so, I'll give you a little rundown of part number. So the pump itself, the Foxtrot 6 Tango Zulu. 9350 Alpha. Um, yeah, it's a direct Ford part number. Uh, then you got the little gaskets here. These guys are going to go um, over the, like, on that banjo bolt. Okay, so one will go here, and then on the other side of the that fitting it'll go so I'll show you once I get to it as well um, two pack of those gonna be Foxtrot 4 Tango Zulu 9 Alpha 375 Alpha there's two pack of them so uh, yeah so I'll show you guys where pretty much and this is according to the diesel tech at work um, <clears throat> I had told them that it was pissing out fuel and so I'm like you know why is it doing that and he's like well there's a seal in there and he's like it's not pissing out oil is it and I was like no he's like okay because if it was pissing out oil then this seal here would be bad because like I say this goes down into the block and this is riding on the camshaft so there's oil in here so if this seal was bad then it'd be squirting out oil but it's actually squirting out fuel so inside here where this plunger is going up and down there's like another seal probably something like this and it's probably bad because then it pisses out this little weep hole right here so i guess it's a good thing because then it kind of tells you that oh pump's going bad or at least the seal is you know it's a fail safe kind of whatever kind of like on the water pumps when uh the bearing starts going bad it'll weep out or it'll seep out the weep hole um i guess it's better than all of a sudden boop one day you're screwed you know so yeah that's the little hole sheet like every pump of this guy is going up and down and it was squirt right out the side it's kind of funny actually because yeah i've been chasing this leak for a long time so new one here still got it in the bag Alright guys, 
So, I didn't want to mess with the fuel bowl, but I ended up having to take the um, two bolts out just so I can kind of raise it up so I can get that bottom hose off because the clamp was, when I had put it in there the last time, I put the clamp on first and then I put the fuel bowl in. So if you're taking the fuel bowl out, honestly that's what I would suggest doing is put that bottom hose on first and then put the, uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> you know, put the hose on, put the clamp on, tighten it down, and then put the fuel bowl back in. Um, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do it that way. Now I just got to figure out which hoses go where. Um, what I think I got to do now is... Uh, I gotta get on the little banjo fitting. It's got them two washers, one on that side, one on that side. Gotta get those off. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the fuel pump. Ouch, that hurt. I'm gonna put a little bit of motor oil all around this on the little tappet as well. And just so it seats good, gets a nice, uh, I don't know, fit, whatever the hell you wanna call it. And then I'll drop the fuel pump in, and then, like I say, I'm gonna figure out which one of the uh, hoses go where. Because I think one of these go on the bottom as well as on the top, and then this goes the other one on the top. And then these two are. Honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna use these two, to be honest. I'm not sure yet. Alright, I got them off. Pretty simple, I just scraped it with a razor. I don't know if it's necessary to replace these, but it's just a fail safe. Alright guys, <clears throat> so I just grabbed some of the uh, wife's oil, just whatever. Just something to put on there so it's not metal on metal. I just kind of gobbed it all over the place, got the seal nice and wet. Too much shit on there. Got the plunger. Yeah, so let's get her dropped in. Okay. So, here we go. Oh. Uh. Oops, all that is, I don't even know if you're able to see that. So, a few things you gotta make sure you line up. Uh, one is down there on the banjo fitting. As you can see, uh, this one side here is actually flat. And there is a piece on that banjo part that kind of is gonna slide alongside of it. You can't see it. Okay, so see, see how it's right there? It's starting to slide over the side, so you got that for one, and it's honestly pretty much almost all the way down in there. Whoops, I can probably zoom on here, hello. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go too buck wild, but now as you can see that, that one down there is pretty close. And then that one's close. So I think I figured out what hoses go where. Um, and then the, the next step too would be to get the banjo bolt put in there with both those washers on either side. Um, I'm not even going to think about threading, you know, what the heck? threading the bolts in there, like on the fuel pump itself. Simply because that's just going to restrict you from trying to get like your hoses put on, that banjo bolt, etc. Same with this one. I'm just gonna leave this kind of floating in there for the time being. Whew. This part's pretty tricky. Um, what I had to do was I actually did have to put those uh, fuel pump mounting bolts right there and then the one on the other side. I did put them in because the o-ring on the shaft of the fuel pump where it goes down into the engine block it's so nice and new and not very malleable so it 
it, it wouldn't push in there like I couldn't just push it in so I had to use the bolts to pull it in which is fine probably end up having to loosen them later but um, I figure it's good because now I got my banjo bolt set up down there lined up just right now I'm trying to get the other uh, thing here put on um, if you can see way down in there I've got the banjo bolt with the other oh my gosh with the other washer on there already and then I got my ratchet ready to go as well so I'm just gonna go ahead and stick this one down in that little slit and get her lined up here all right guys this had to be quite possibly the worst part yet I'm trying to get that other washer in that's close to the fuel pump now I'm literally just spinning it with my one finger to get in luckily it actually goes in finger or with my fingers because that on the old pump it wouldn't come out I literally had to ratchet it with that little ratchet all the way out all the way to the very end like it fought me the whole damn way whereas this one I mean it's in there it's pretty much ready to be cinched down with a wrench or whatever a ratchet um but before that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave that banjo bolt loose I'm gonna loosen the actual pump bolts up themselves just so I can have a little bit of slack in there so then I can put um, the hose here the hose here and then that one way on the bottom down there I figure it'd be worth mentioning um, the hoses I'll be using are part of these two kits um, this one here comes with the two one of them will be for the very bottom and the other one will be for the top and this will be for the other one up on top Motorcraft part number is going to be Kilo Foxtrot Lima 3.5, Kilo Foxtrot Lima 3.4, otherwise that's the four numbers. Basically the only difference is going to be Delta Alpha versus Charlie Alpha. Pretty much got everything done. Um, as you can see you got one short line over there. You got the other short one down on the bottom, and you got the longer one here on the top. Okay, just got them tightened down. Um, it's kind of, uh, you kind of just really got to play it by feel because I had, like I had mentioned, I was going to tighten this down to pull the pump down into the block. And then I was going to loosen it just so I had a little bit of play while I'm trying to get the hoses on. Kind of sort of same thing with the uh, fuel bowl itself. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I did. I just finished tightening up the fuel bowl as well as the fuel pump. Now i got to work on tightening up the banjo bolt. Pretty much just going to take my... Uh, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> going to take my contraption here. This has got to be the funniest looking thing ever. Uh, just going to get it pretty much cinched down as much as I can. And then what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and try and get the, uh, you know, breaker bar or the bigger ratchet on there just to get it really tight. So as you can see, it's kind of sort of going one little click at a time it's pretty pathetic but <laughs> that's what you gotta do come back when it's tight all right guys so kind of skipped ahead um pretty much where we left off was just trying to tighten up that banjo bolt down there i don't know how tight it's supposed to be and I pretty much got it to the point where it felt like it was going to fucking break. And I figured that's probably good enough. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much that. I got my Y-pipe thing back on. 
Now what I'm gonna be doing is, I'm gonna do, so at one point I went ahead and I changed the fuel bowl because of the fuel leak, okay? So with the new fuel bowl comes a cap, obviously, as well as a filter. Well, I didn't realize that the uh, whole shoot and match is kind of, fo like Ford's filter for this thing is kind of specific. And so, like aftermarket ones are, oh my God, that's gross, are all one piece, okay? So, the cap goes with the filter. But Ford's, the cap is separate from the filter. So basically all you gotta do is remove the cap, then they kind of come apart, and then you can just put a new filter in. So you don't have to spend the extra bit on a new cap every time. Well, I didn't realize that, and I threw the damn Motorcraft, or you know, the Ford one away. So, that was another one of the things I had got. It was a new cap. Foxtrot 5, Tango Zulu, 9 George, Georgia, 270 Alpha. Pretty much a new cap. Got a new filter as well. Foxtrot Delta, 4595. That's the more craft number. Long numbers there. If you need it, you shouldn't. Um, yeah, and then I'm also, just for a hell of it, gonna run some Cetane Booster. I'm running that guy, it's gonna be Papa Mike 22 Alpha. Um, Alright guys, that thing is freaking disgusting. Oh shoot. <laughs> Get the little or anything. Ah! I'm stuck. I don't get why they do this. This is ridiculous. <laughs> and I pulled it out of the package and I didn't need one because one already come on the cap. You should replace it every time anyway, but. Um, so this is why I want Ford's cap. Because you got these little tabs on the side. Come on. So you got a tab on either side that sits down in that little slot. And you got the little button up on top that I was talking about. The other one was a lot bigger than that, so I had to drill it out. It's like a quarter inch, I think. But yeah. Boom. Done. A little comparison for you. Oh, them tanks are bad. Alright, guys. Inside of the fuel bowl, you can't really see. But, like I was saying, my tanks are actually really bad and I can see it down in between this little slit right here there's actually like sand and dirt and rust and stuff and that's pretty much just like I say coming out of the tank um because they're so bad they just rot from the inside anyway I'm gonna go ahead pour a little bit of my C tank booster directly in the fuel bowl um should help it stir it up a little bit better just put a little dibble dibble and then I'll just dump the rest of it in the tanks and then oh come on oops alright guys so I figure I'd try something that personally I've never done before Figure I'll show you guys. I know how it works. I've just never done it. So um, be very careful if you do do this. Um, pretty much what I'm going to do is just going to prime it. Without starting the truck, I'm just going to jump the relay. I've got a manual transmission. It is not in gear. I'm sitting on a block, so I should be fine. But yeah, let's jump this and give it a try here. Oh yeah, she 
filling up, boys. Cool. Well, at least you know it's working. <laughs> Focus. Well, anyway, I'm going to just go ahead put the filter on. Make sure your little o-ring goes in there good. God, I don't know why it's not focused, sorry. Not much to see, but anyway. Jeez, I'm girl. Get her tight. Oh, I kind of want to get that tool I've been, well, been using for these. God, there's just no fun way to do this, I swear. Alright guys, let's go fire it up, huh? <clears throat> Just rolled 260. Got two fresh tanks, so this will actually be perfect to test my miles to the gallon. Lately I've only been getting like my la very last one and I was being a baby. 14 and a half miles a gallon. And this winter, I was getting like 10. Oh, it was awful. Especially sucked because I had a lot of idling time to warm up. That honestly feels so much smoother. I can just tell it's so much happier. So that about does it for this one. Honestly, it was a lot easier than I was expecting. Um, I was really expecting a lot more troubles and a lot longer time to actually get it done. I would say it probably took me five hours at the absolute most. And I honestly, I'm not, I didn't really even pay attention. No, it couldn't even take, because it's 10 o'clock now. I didn't even get home until, I don't know, 4.50. I didn't start working until 5.30. Okay, so maybe anywhere from 4 to 5 hours. And that was me by myself in the, in the driveway. I mean, basic set of tools. Um, it honestly seems a lot smoother. It seems... Like there's a little bit more like throttle response. Um, I don't know if I just didn't clean stuff up well enough or if it's from the brake clean that I had sprayed in there or what. But it, <clears throat> or even if I have a leak, I don't, I'm not quite sure. I'm going to have to uh, maybe do a little bit more chasing and just see whatever. But there was, um, it smelled like diesel under there. Um, it was kind of smoking like it was just burning. You know, like, because the engine was getting hot, and there was, I'm sure it's because there was diesel every fucking where. And anyway, so, yeah, that, uh, I'm not too worried about it, to be honest. Give it, you know, a week or two worth of driving and weather and all that stuff, and I'm sure it'll clear up no problem. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely stoked because now. I can save fuel and not have this huge freaking stain on my damn driveway. I got to clean that off and hopefully never see one again because it's ridiculous.
<clears throat> anyway, guys, um, hopefully you did enjoy this one. Hopefully it helps you. Uh, I did the best I could explaining stuff. If you do have any questions, definitely feel free to, you know, comment below, ask, or, you know, whatever. Like the video if you do, uh, if it did help you, if you did enjoy it. Uh, subscribe for more. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in. Take care.